Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about a new artist. His name is Ramiro Brito and we're going to be doing an art project that goes along with this artist. Ramiro Brito is a famous sculptor and he was a very famous painter. Next you're going to watch a quick video that just shows a little clip from a commercial that they made about Ramiro Brito's beautiful artwork and you're going to watch it come alive. is whenever lines, shapes, forms, and colors repeat themselves. I'm sure you noticed in the video that you saw an awful lot of patterns. Ramiro Brito is very famous for including a lot of different patterns in all of his artworks. Now we're ready to get started on our third project, a Ramiro Brito inspired drawing. Our learning goal for this project is a drawing. A drawing is when we produce an artwork through drawing skills that utilizes observation, things that we can see. And in our case, we're gonna be doing a lot of different patterns and we're doing Ramiro Brito style. So we're gonna be observing his style and replicating it. Our learning targets are that we can use visual emphasis in our art and we can use line direction in our art. We're gonna be using visual emphasis by adding a lot of bright colors and bold black lines when we do our drawing. And line direction, we're gonna be showing different types of lines, whether they're straight, wiggly, curvy, zigzag, or dotted. A lot of the materials for this project are optional. You're gonna to get to choose whatever type of material you'd like to use to add the color, but you're definitely going to need something to draw on. So ideally, it would be great to have a piece of paper. And I would recommend a pencil to start. You can use crayons, paint, pastels, any type, and colored pencils. But again, you choose whichever ones that you have around your house that are gonna be able to produce color. All right, let's get started. Now we're ready to create our Ramiro Brito style artwork. We're going to make a heart and we're gonna use a lot of different patterns when we do it. So right now you're gonna turn your paper 
you're gonna need a piece of rectangular paper. You can use a square paper, it doesn't really matter. But right now we wanna make sure we have a nice space ready to draw. Our first thing we're going to draw is we're going to create a big heart in the center of our page. So we're gonna start with the middle. So your finger, we wanna put the, our finger where the middle is. And right now we're gonna put a little dot where the center is. So that's where we're going to begin. Once you have your dot, we're ready to start. And we're going to put, actually we're gonna make two dots. We're gonna start here and I want you to go down a little bit, make a little dot there. That way we know that we need to connect this, wrap it around, and connect it right back here. So we're gonna start in the center, and we're gonna take our pencil, and you're gonna go around, and you're gonna come back around and stop at the dot. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Once you've made your heart, now we're ready to add some lines because we're just going to dissect this heart in the entire piece of paper. So we're using the whole space of our paper and we're gonna dissect it. So I want you to make a line from one end of the paper to the other end of the paper, going straight through the heart. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, kind of like we're making a big X. And then we're gonna go one more and you can choose if you want it to go from here to here, straight down the center, from here to the side, or you can go from here to here. You choose. I'm gonna go from here, and I'm gonna dissect it straight down. Now for each section, I want you to create big patterns, not small patterns, big patterns. We wanna take up big areas in each section. So if you're making polka dots, we're gonna make big polka dots in our picture, big polka dots. This section I'm gonna make with stripes. Over here, I'm gonna add some other types of lines. I'm gonna use some zigzag lines. And I want you to notice my patterns are very big. So I'm not making tiny little marks. I'm making very big marks on my page. I'm making very big patterns. So here I'm gonna add some wavy lines. And let's see over here, I'm going to add some horizontal lines. And right here, I'm going to add some more polka dots. So I'm gonna make big circles because I don't want them small, big patterns. We're working with big patterns, taking up the space of our paper. Inside the heart, let's do some zigzags going vertically. We'll do some more wavy lines. And right here, I'm going to add some organic shapes, kind of like some clouds. And right here for our last one, I think I'm gonna make it match that one and I'm gonna make some horizontal lines. I want you to come up with as many different patterns as you can. Once you draw all of your patterns, you can use whatever you'd like to color it in. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use paint, or you can use colored pencils. Have fun.